A safety survey is a tool we use to proactively identify hazards and the corrective actions we need to take. Regular surveys are an important part of a company's occupational health and safety program. You're going to have a chance to practice. Your instructor will give you a survey checklist. But pay close attention because your instructor is sneaky and may have planted some hidden hazards. With this video, I want to share with you a few examples of the sort of things you'll be looking for. Well, let's head into the lab and begin our survey. Let's start with PPE. Lisa is wearing a lab coat, safety glasses, and gloves, which is always required for general lab work. She's also dressed appropriately, closed-toed shoes, no jewelry, and her hair is tied back. You may need special PPE depending on the work you're doing, like these heat-resistant gloves for opening the autoclave. That's PPE. Now let's look at some lab equipment. All equipment should be tested and certified to be sure it's in good working order. Fume hoods and biological safety cabinets look similar, but their functions are actually quite different. A fume hood is used to protect you when working with toxic chemicals. The airflow moves the vapors away from you, through a duct, and safely outside of the facility. This tag lets us know that the cabinet has been inspected and certified. A biological safety cabinet is used for working with infectious bacterial agents. The air flows through a HEPA filter to create a clean working environment. So it protects you, but also protects your work from contamination. This tag lets us know that the cabinet has been inspected and certified. Now let's look at some emergency gear. Know the location of your safety shower and eye wash station, fire extinguisher, and first aid kit. These areas must be kept clear of obstacles so you can get to them fast. Safety equipment also has to be regularly inspected and tagged. Be familiar with the emergency evacuation plan. An exit should be clear and marked. Next is chemical safety. All chemicals in the lab must be labeled and organized. Labels provide important safety information like the chemical's properties, the manufacturer, hazards, PPE, and storage requirements. You can find even more details about the chemicals by looking at the safety data sheets. Finally, let's survey some basic lab housekeeping requirements. Always clean up after yourself. The lab should be organized and free of clutter. Walkways should be clear of obstacles. Never bring food or drink in the lab, unless the food is being used for an experiment. In that case, it should be labeled for lab use only. Dispose biological wastes in the container labeled with the appropriate biohazard symbol. Clean your equipment and workbench after each experiment. And always place sharp objects like broken glassware in a sealable, puncture-proof container. These are just a handful of the items on your safety survey checklist. But hopefully this gives you a better idea of the type of things you'll be looking for in your survey. Now head to the lab and get started. Thanks for watching.